It's time to shatter the XX7. Hey, it's Brian Lake back with another review you can use. And up today we have Muscle Tech Shatter SX7, or I guess it's hashtag Shatter. So I've recently, uh, previously tried the pre-workout that they had uh, by a similar name. It was also supposed to have a fat burner and some other stuff. And I lost a little bit of body fat. Uh, what I found is it really increased my thermogenic, but it didn't necessarily give me a great workout. So not long ago I got this. This is the uh, Amazing Taste Blue Raspberry. Blue Raspberry is one of those flavors. So here's the size of the scoop. You get a six gram scoop. You're getting 160 milligrams of caffeine in here. You're getting a whole bunch of other stuff. You've got brown algae extract. You've got uh, holy basil extract. So there are different things that are supposed to help you with energy and focus. You've got uh, the beta alanine. You've got the um, other things I can't read because they're too freaking small. I'm too old. So there you go. Uh, I tend to do about a half to two thirds because 160 milligrams is just too freaking much caffeine for me. Uh, but I have done whole scoops and I've actually a couple times done a little bit more, kind of a rounded scoop. Um, so maybe maybe a seven or eight gram serving. Um, I don't know about powerful, it is definitely a powerful pre-workout and it's definitely uh, explosive energy. It, what I noticed about this is it didn't take long and I stayed up quite a while and then I kind of tapered off. Part of why I only do about half to two thirds of scoop. I tend to work out after work. And I don't need something that's going to keep me up till midnight, and this stuff probably would, even if it's only 160 milligrams. The other supporting factors in there really help maintain a good energy level. Uh, this also increases my thermogenic, uh, especially with the caffeine. I've done some workouts without it, and I've noticed I'm not as hot when I'm doing my heavy squats. It's usually the heavy squats that really get to me, uh, except, well, the deadlift too, and then also the, um, the when I'm doing power cleans now, and those really beat my butt up. Uh, overall it has very good taste. It's I would give it about a nine on mixability because it's decently mixes even just with a glass and a spoon. You'll have a little bit of chunks that you can just kind of mash with your spoon and then you'll have a tiny tiny bit of residue in the bottom and that's it. You put this in a shaker bottle and it is there's nothing. I mean it just goes really well. Goes down pretty easily. Um, whether you you know you, I've used cold water. I've had ice cubes. I tried a couple different ways. Uh, but overall, this is a really good product. I, I, I think as far as a pre-workout, or if you want a little bit of energy in the morning so you don't want to do coffee or something, take a half a scoop of this. This will give you several hours of energy. I've done that a few times when I've had very little sleep and i got to get moving in the morning. What I have noticed is, again, because of the thermogenic effect, I'll get too warm and I have to be careful uh, when I eat breakfast. I've actually had a couple times where I just got too hot to eat and just had to get on to work and then get on my protein shake around 9 o'clock, which, which helps. Um, so this, I don't remember how much this is, but that, this is a product that I found at Meijer. So this would be like a Kroger, you know, your local grocery store. So this is that level. Um, I've actually saw at last time I was at Walmart because I was looking for um, inserts for my shoes. They have several other Muscle Tech products that I am going to be getting a hold of to try because they don't have them at Meijer. Um, ones that make sense for me to try, obviously. I'm not going to take stuff that doesn't make any sense for my, my fitness goals. And, uh, and like I'm trying to lose a little bit more body fat, gain a little bit more muscle. I'm up about 215. I got a little bit of body fat gain, but not a whole lot, but I've got a lot more strength gain. And things like squats and, and bench are starting to come along that have been lagging now for several years. A couple of years ago, I, I, I uh, did something stupid and I hurt my back, my lower back, and it's taken me almost a year and a half to gain back where I was before that injury. Uh, this shoulder still doesn't want to cooperate. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm doing other things like landmine presses and stuff like that instead of flat bench. Uh, so anyway, overall very good. Um, if you have tried this, let me know. If you have any other flavors like this that uh, I might want to try and see, let me know. I'm going to try and get some samples. Um, I've noticed that uh, at, slowly manufacturers are starting to retweet my tweets and stuff like that about my videos. Some are looking forward. In fact, I'm supposed to get an order from DPS any day, anytime it's supposed to be today, but it hasn't come. Uh, and they're letting me know, hey, let us know when you're doing your reviews. And that's becoming my source, mainly because of the free t-shirts and other stuff, but it is really, they have an incredible selection. Uh, VitaCost and Lucky Vitamin are a bit more toward general health. So there's a lot of health food stuff in there. They have some fitness products, but they don't have the higher quality ones uh, per se. 
And so uh, DPS Nutrition is becoming my source. They're, they're, they're really no frills website. So you might, if you judge them on their website, I think you're going to be um, uh, you know, surprised at how good they really are. I'll put a link bomb below. I'm trying to get some links from them too so that we can have ongoing um, you know, savings and stuff like that. But anyway, this is definitely a recommend. Overall, I'll give this product about an eight and a half. It is pretty good at uh, workout, even without taking a full scoop, but this is really my only source of caffeine, but pretty much. There's a couple other small sources. I don't drink a lot of coffee. I don't drink a lot of tea. So 160 milligrams is more than enough for me. And uh, overall, I think this is a really good uh, pre-workout, whether you work out in the morning or the evening. Just, just take what's necessary for you and, and be mindful of the caffeine so you're not up half the night. And you'll get some thermogenic, not a lot. This is not a weight loss product, but you'll get some of it from the stimulants and it will get you through uh, your workout no matter how hard you're going. I've done an hour, hour and a half workouts with this stuff and it's lasted the whole way. All right, thanks for clicking like, thanks for sharing, thanks for stopping by, and we will see you next time. Bye. Other stuff made way too much noise. I'm not doing this on camera. My goodness, I'm gonna get this crap all over me now. Ellie! Ellie, stop! God bless America. Get that taken care of Monday. Hey, it's Brian Light back with another beer review. No, wrong show.